In today's video, we are going to talk about how to compare uh, two data sets in Stata. Uh, so the way we do it, we, we are going to use a CF command and uh, we can also have this from the menu if we click on data, data utilities. And then we have these two comparisons over here. One is compared to variables and the other one is compared to data sets. This is what we are going to look into. This is the CF command. But we would rather do it using uh, the commands. So uh, let's uh, import this auto data that we usually use with, uh, with our uh, videos. Now before we move forward, uh, one thing I would like to mention there here is that uh, this uh, compare data set command only compare the value of the variable. So if there is a difference between the values of two data sets uh, or variables of two data sets, then this would mention it. But if there is a difference between their value labels or variable labels or data set nodes, then this command won't mention it. Okay. So we have imported our auto data. What we are going to do is we are going to make some changes into this data and then we are going to store it. And then we would have uh, two copies of auto data. One would be a little bit modified copy and the, the other would be the original copy, right? Uh, or the, the original data set. Uh, and then we would compare this original data with uh, somewhat modified data to look into uh, how this comparison uh, of data set works. So let's drop this price variable. And for the MPG variable, I would change the value uh, into one uh, in row one to five. And I would uh, drop it or convert it into missing value in row six to seven. And then I would convert this weight variable into string. I'm using the two string command. If you are not familiar with this, I have a video on that. I would give the, this, uh, the link of this video on, in the description. So what we are going to do is we are going to replace this weight variable. So currently weight is uh, integer and we would convert this weight into uh, a string, right? So now it is a string and we are going to save it as changed data. This will be the name of the file. So now let's import this original data set. So we have our auto data where we have price and the original data as it was. Now what we would do is we would compare uh, the price variable and the MPG variable because we know that in our original data, the data that is currently in the memory, uh, which let's call it a master data file, we do have the price variable, but in the changed data, that we just made, uh, we dropped the price variable. And also we had made some changes to the MPG variable in this changed data set. Uh, so we would compare these two variables. Uh, so the command, the syntax is, uh, we write the command name, then VAR list, so variable list that stands for. So it is mandatory to give some variable list. If we do not mention any variable or a list of variables, uh, and then this command is not going to work. Then we would, we would use the word using and then the file name. And if there are any options, then we would use that too. So this is how we have written it. See the command name. Then these two variables that we want to compare among these two data sets. We do not want to compare all the variables in these two data sets, just these two variables using and then the file name. So what it says is that price does not exist in the using. So this is the master data and the data that we are comparing it with is called the using data. This is the same terminology that we use when we merge different data sets. So uh, price do not exist in the using data and with the MPG we have seven mismatches and that is correct because we made uh, changes into seven rows. And then it gave us a return code. Remember the return code is just an a, a code uh, that Stata, uh, the, each number have a different meaning. So this uh, R means that uh, there were certain changes between these two data sets and zero would mean that there are no changes. 
We can also compare all the variables within uh, these two data sets. For that, we would either use underscore all or we would use this wildcard asterisk. So both would work same. So instead of writing the variable name, we just write underscore all. So that compare all the variable. Remember we made some changes to the weight variable. We converted this weight variable into string. So what it says is these two remains the same, but now because we are comparing all the data, all the variables, it says that integer weight is integer in master data, right? So this weight is integer in master data, but in using data, it is a string and that makes sense because we converted it into a string. Uh, the same result we would get if we use asterisk rather than underscore all. But remember, if there is a match, we have more than three variables, but it isn't showing uh, at the, at the remarks for all the variables. And that is because uh, all other variables exactly matches with the another data set. So, so where there is a match, it wouldn't return any comments, but um, if you wanted, you could also use the all option, but we would get back to that. Remember how I said that variable list is mandatory. If we use uh, this command without a variable list, it would return an error. Okay, so as we saw that, it just gave us the remarks for only those variables that didn't match. What if we wanted to see all the variables? So we would use this all option. Remember options comes after comma and do not confuse this with underscore all. Uh, this underscore all is for all the variables and this all is just an option in this command. So see how other variables did match except for price, MPG and weight. So this command would give us uh, four different types of uh, remarks. Either it would be match or it would be, it does not exist in the using file. If a variable didn't existed in the master file, then it, it wouldn't return any error, right? So uh, let's say if I dropped uh, length, right? So length is not there in the master file. And if I do this uh, comparison again, then it wouldn't give us any uh, comments about the length. Although length exists in the changed file, but because it does not, does not exist in the master file, it, it wouldn't bother about that. So what it does, it, it takes all the variables in the master file and then compare those variables in the using file. So if there is a variable missing in the master file, uh, we wouldn't know about that. So it returns three types of outputs. Uh, four types of outputs matched does not exist in using or the number of mismatches or uh, a variable was uh, of different uh, uh, data type in the master and the using type we also have this verbose option and what it would do is it would return all the mismatches right so price didn't exist obviously uh, all the values didn't match but in MPG, we had seven mis mismatches and it is saying that the observation uh, uh, one had 22 value in the master file, but it had value one in the using file. And that makes sense because we converted it into one. And similarly in, uh, in row six and seven, we, as we converted it into a missing value, it is saying that in the master file, it does have a value of 18 and 26, but in using file, it is a missing value. And verbose, what verbose does is it gives all the mismatches. So in a short data set or uh, when there are less number of mismatches, then this verbose would make sense. But if the mismatches are uh, large, then it, would, uh, it wouldn't be helpful. And we have already discussed this return code. Uh, lastly, there are certain uh, uh, user return packages. Uh, we have CF2, CF3, CF BY, CF OUT. So they, are, these, uh, they also perform the same kind of a task that is they compare two different data sets, but there are certain uh, obviously a uniqueness to these packages. So if you wanted to dive uh, deeper into this arena, then you can uh, look into these uh, 
these custom packages you would have to install it using ssc install so that's uh, for today and i hope you enjoyed this video uh, do hit the subscribe button and uh, thanks for watching this video